we are going after rabbits today quail season's over uh it'd be cool if oakley could point out a quail and maybe flush it up but we can't shoot them today which is okay uh mainly just coming out to run oakley a little bit and maybe get a rabbit or two so hang around and see what happens here an area like that right on the edge of a field where it's kind of brushy and tall that is like classic rabbit right there come this uh tree edge right here can be really good too so i'll, I'll kind of hang out to the left and let you kick brush and maybe get a shot at something Got a couple more spots to check on this side that are traditionally pretty good. Oh, dude, we just got a whole covey of quail up. Oh, it's the first covey I've seen out here in so long. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. There was like 20 of them, did you see that? There were a lot, yeah. That was cool. Dude. Right on the corner in the brush there. Oh, that was amazing. That... Did you get it? I don't think so. You're right though, he was right under my feet before he ran. Yeah. I didn't even see him, I just heard you shoot. that rabbit here? Yeah, you hit him. I hate to say it, but... I don't think you got a lethal hit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you you know your aim's on. <laughs> you hit it. That's just they're usually so easy to kill. It's pretty unusual to not drop them when you hit them like that. Especially, yeah. you kicked a lot of fur off that dude. <laughs> that sucks, man. Hey, 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 get back here. Hey, come. Rabbit down, rabbit down. Heck yeah. We're finally on the book. Heck yeah. Get out of there. <laughs> Got him. Heck yeah. Got him. First one. The They're pretty hey. good. They're good size. Happy little rabbit. Yeah. Hell, it took me Did four. Did the last one get him or you think you had him before? It was, it was the last one. Last one? <laughs> My third shot and then I had to finish it. Heck yeah. Nice. It took us long enough. We got nope. one. We got one down. Heck yeah. Nice, man. Oh, I think I see a deer shed. I see a deer shed. Oh baby. Look at that. Out here rabbit hunting and coming across this. There we there go, go, buddy. That is awesome. I've been keeping my eye open for him all morning. And I finally saw one. That's freaking cool, man. As tradition has it. There's your end of hunt burrito. Uh, this is the second day to the video. I decided, uh, since Andrew and I had a pretty slow day the other day, that I'm going to uh, just combine the two videos and uh, make it into one. Here we go. Well, I missed that one. Dang it. Come on, tell me I got it. Got that one. It was a double gas. I got that one. I'm not sure if I did or not. I definitely got that one. I don't know if I got this one or not. What's crazy is I just walked right over the top of this one. And then he decided to come out. That is nuts. Heck yeah, at least one in the bag. I'm not sure. I don't think I got this other one. 
they are hard to hit guys I'm telling you I had to aim a little high on this one for the head I sure got him I will happily take it I aimed a little high on him because he was so close and looks like I did it about right got pellets just in his head so the rest of this meat's pretty pretty good to go good rabbit guys I will take that I've missed two this morning and I finally got this one guys when I'm rabbit hunting these are the kind of spots that I look for right on the edge of the where the the grass meets the woods and there's a little bit of brush like right there for whatever reason the cottontails just love that stuff I'd say probably 90 percent of the time I get my cottontails up on a forest edge where it meets the grassy field every once in a while they're out in the middle of a big field but generally speaking I really work these field edges hard just little tips and pointers I've learned over the years if you're looking to learn how to do this game inexpensive way to get out and enjoy nature and get a little bit of food in the process doesn't take a whole lot of startup gear Yes. Shot a little better on that one, guys. That's a dead rabbit. Get reloaded here because I'm in a super good area. Bound to be another one. Heck yeah. I will take it. Absolutely. Two rabbits on the day. That's a dang good day. Check him out. That is awesome. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Heck yeah. There he is, guys. <laughs> Number three on the day. I'm gonna have to finish him here. That'll happen. There he is. Number three. A little shot up in the rear end, but that's all right. We can work around it. Heck yeah. best day I've had on rabbits in some time I started out a little rough not shooting real well and I guess I brushed the rust off and we're getting them now kicked him out of this real tall brush so pretty cool but you guys see how uh, I'm kind of working this field here and then as soon as I got to this little uh, row of like saplings and stuff this rabbit was right here right that's what I'm saying they're always on the edges of saplings or cedar trees are right on a wood line i don't usually get them like way out in the middle of a field i'm not saying you can't i'm just saying usually they're on the edges of uh vegetation structures like this for whatever reason so i've learned over the years just to work these areas well that's all i got in me guys i walked a long ways today but uh it certainly did pay off i got a, a good deal of wild game there i love these small game days just taking off and uh parking lot hopping from place to place trying to shoot these small game uh what a good time squirrel and rabbit both hold a special place in my heart i love hunting both of them they're both really different but <clears throat> they're they're both really fun and when you can put them both together in the same day that is a heck of a way to spend a day and they're both so good to eat um i'm pretty excited to get home clean these up and look at some recipes and try and uh, try and put these to use so guys as always i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching